Today on our 2014 Toyota Prius C, we will be installing the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wire harness with a four pole flat trailer connector. Part number C56275. And when you're ready to use your four pole, we'll go ahead and slide it down. I think you're ready to close up your hatch and plug up your wiring. First thing we'll need to do in installing our Kurt wiring harness is going to be to open up the passenger rear door and locate the kick panel below the passenger seat, which is going to be this plastic piece here. This is going to be the cover that's going to go over the top of the battery. Locate the two fasteners, one located here and one located here. Press in on the center to release and disengage the connectors. Then we'll guide it out. in a way. Go ahead and remove those two connectors so we can guide the plastic piece out. Go ahead and pull out from the back side and push forward. You'll see that it disengages those two there and then we can remove it. We'll go ahead and set this off to the side so we can continue with the insulation. Now with the cover removed from the back passenger seat, we'll now disconnect the negative terminal on our battery. Go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket, loosen that up, to where we're able to, to remove it. Sliding it up off to the side. Now with the battery disconnected, we'll go ahead and open up the rear of the vehicle. Go ahead and remove all the floor coverings. Go ahead and locate the two fasteners securing the scuff panel on the back side. We'll go ahead and pull out to remove those. Once you have both the fasteners removed, We'll go ahead and lift up to remove the scuff panel. We can set that off to the side with the rest of our items. We'll now move over here to the passenger side kick panel, removing the Phillips screw here and the two bolts down here at the bottom. With the Phillips screw and the two bolts in the bottom removed, go ahead and pull back on the trim panel, being careful not to damage the alignment screws and taps on the back side. Once you've done so, we can then locate the wiring harness on the back side. Now we'll go ahead and repeat that same process on the driver's side. Now with both of our kick panel hardware removed, we'll go ahead and pull it back, go ahead and disconnect the factory hardware here. We'll go ahead and connect our side with the green wire into the appropriate housings. Take the smaller one into the bigger one and the smaller one plug it back into the factory outlet. Just like so. Now we'll go ahead and attach our ground wire using the provided self-tapping screw. Find a good place on the inside here that's going to be out of the way of other wires. Now go ahead and press all the tabs back into place and align everything up. Now we'll go ahead and unravel the yellow wire and run it up into the driver's side, repeating the same process with the connections. Now we'll go ahead and snap back in the driver's side kick pan. Now we'll go ahead and clean and prep an area on the inside of the kick panel or a place that's out of the way to adhere our converter box. Go ahead and take your double sided tape, placing it on the back of it. And we'll put it into place. Now we'll go ahead and route our power wire up to the battery that we've disconnected, making sure that we stay clear of any kind of pinch point on the inside of the paneling. Go ahead and open up the passenger door and route the wire through. We'll go ahead and disconnect the positive side.
place our power wire over the top of the terminal and then thread it back in. Placing the cover back down and then hiding the wire. Now go ahead and plug in your 10 watt fuse. Placing the cover over the top and then we'll take a zip tie and wrap it around it just to make sure it stays secure. Now we'll go ahead and reattach all of our side panels. Next item to replace is going to be the threshold over the back. Making sure that we have our four pole down towards the center and our wires not in the way of the clips that are going to snap into place. With our kick panel back in place, we'll now reattach the fasteners. Press them into place. Replace the rear pads above the spare tire and the floor mats. Take and reattach the fasteners and the clip points here and then work it back around in the opposite direction you did before. Reattach the two fasteners and clip them into place. Now with all the items back in place, we'll go ahead and attach the dust cover over the top of our four pole wiring. That way we can prevent any kind of dirt, debris, or buildup from getting on the inside. Place the cover over, and then we'll roll it up and stow it on the inside until we're ready to use it. Now we'll go ahead and attach our ground and then we'll test out our wires. Our brown wire is gonna be our running lights. Then our left turn signal will be the yellow wire. Right turn signal will be the green wire. And then our brake lights. We're all ready to go. And that will do it for our installation of the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number C56275.